Hey guys, welcome to TSD Garage, I'm Bart, and in the studio with me today is the newest generation Yamaha MT-10. We will be installing our new TSD Industries integrated taillight on this bike. We will be replacing the OEM component that you see here with this beautiful unit. Our taillight features all plug and play connection. It'll just plug right into the bike, no sweat, no modification. It does not require any modification to the taillight or the bike. I say that because I've noticed some marketplaces and some websites currently in 2023 are selling the MT-09 taillight, which does not have this top clip and has these ears in the wrong place. And there are several other nuances that make it not fit well or at all on this bike and requires that taillight requires modification to it and possibly the bike to make it fit. So we actually went back to the drawing board and we redesigned this taillight to fit perfectly on this bike. You'll notice that in our installation flow that I will demonstrate in just a moment. Before I get into that, I wanted to talk about a couple cool things about this taillight. On the back side of the taillight, you'll notice a little button. This will give you access to several different program states. For the lights, you have different patterns for the brake action and different patterns for the signal function. Our customer favorite here is the brake alert, which strobes five times and then stays solid. And for the signaling, it is sequential from inboard to the outboard. That is accessible through here. You'll be able to toggle through all the different programs. Each one toggles with the press of a button. The bike has to be powered up to make the change, but as you go through, you will notice which ones work for you best, and then you can just leave it there. Turn off the bike, turn it back on, the taillight stores its setting. We have some very cool optics. We do have a pretty radical design change. I believe that we captured the design language of this motorcycle really, really well. We have this ducted feature here. The duct itself is matched to all of the surrounding components on the actual bike. So it's really congruent with the tail end of this bike. Furthermore, we do sell a fender eliminator system for this bike that has a closeout set that closes out the fender hole after the removal of the fender. It is also matched in color and texture to everything around there. So you can actually shop with us and get yourself an all-inclusive kit that will transform the tail end of this bike into a sexy and sleek look. And you can make that installation all at home with simple tools following the videos that we've provided for you. I'm pretty amped to get this on the bike and show you just how good it looks and how awesome it is during functioning. Let's get going with that. We're going to begin by removing the seat. Then we will grab Phillips screwdriver, remove these two fasteners. This panel will need to be rotated up until it makes a little snapping noise. And then pushed towards the rear this sliding clip engages with this interference window that needs to be cleared out. Now we have access here. We will remove these two fasteners using an eight millimeter socket. At this point, I will grab a small flathead screwdriver and get this connector out of its mating connector. That is our main tail light connection point. There's just not enough room here to squeeze my finger in there. So I use a tiny flathead push in on the locking mechanism and withdraw the connector. All right, on this particular bike, what you see here is the signal connectors on the harness side, the bike harness side, they are not taken up. This is because we've eliminated the fender and we haven't replaced the signaling equipment yet. If your fender is still on, you will have these connectors taking up these mating connectors on the bike. You will need to slip these off if you are eliminating the fender because this is where you will be connecting the taillight signal connections. If you intend to use both sets of equipment, meaning the fender signal OEM equipment, along with the taillight, you can purchase a Y splitter from us. One end of this connector, of this Y splitter goes into the connector and that splits it into two 
attachment points for two different signal devices. That way you could attach, you could connect in the tail light and either OEM signals or aftermarket signals. If you are eliminating the fender, we do have the fender removal portion in our fender eliminator video. You can watch that on our YouTube channel or on our website. All right, we have this tail light disconnected. These two fasteners need to come out. That will be done using a four millimeter Allen. We have two remaining fasteners in this tail light. They are right below here. They are push pin fasteners. You push the center in and that just pops out. I just like to reset them right away and get them ready for reinsertion later. To reset them, you just pop the center button out. Now, at this point, we need to clear an interference clip, a sliding clip from the interference window on the actual tail light. Looks like this. If you just push, pull outwards, you will likely snap this. So on the way out and on the way in, we need to pull this entire fairing towards the rear, push the tail light towards the front, and that will unlock it. Same procedure goes for the reinsertion here. All right, so here we will need to scavenge some of these fastening components. We have these two and note the location of the nut portion. The nut portion is underneath and the simple hole is on the top. We have sleeve inserts here also known as shoulder washers. The shoulder from the washer is on top, inserts in through the top. Now we'll grab these rubber dampers and go in the reverse order of disassembly here on our new tail light. Just need to make sure that you have the flange distributed evenly around the whole perimeter on top and bottom. Then we press our sleeves back in, remount these fasteners in the appropriate orientation. And now we're ready to get this tail light back in the bike. Now, there are many different ways to route this. The OEM tail light typically routes under here. Let's see if we can make that work. Yes, that'll work just fine. So I got my wire coming out of the tail light on this side, routing under this bracket to the left side of the bike. And we'll just keep it here for now. I will align of my mounting holes and make sure that nothing is getting snagged and nothing's gonna get pinched when I fasten this thing. I wanna draw your attention to the programming button. It's right here, it remains accessible. When this gets reinstalled in place, that does obscure it a bit. So just wanted to point that out before we reassemble everything so that you know or to press it. If you do have it all reassembled, you can use a pencil or something long and dull to press on it. That's what will toggle you through all the different settings. All right, now we're in the reassembly portion. So I will aim to get my interference locks here locked up. Again, pulling back, stretching over that ear that protrudes from the tail light. very gently, making sure not to snap anything. Those can actually crack if you exert too much force on them. Let's get some of these fasteners seated. I like to get my thread started and all of the fastener locations taken up before I tighten anything. I do have these fasteners that came out of the bottom. Sometimes you just need to mush some of these components around 
move the taillight up and down until you align the axis of the accepting hole with this fastener and then press it in. Now I will tighten down on these guys since they just go through the rubber and that's just suspended here. And the final step in the rear portion here will be to check for the gaps, make sure everything's even. This is our last chance for making the gaps, altering the gaps a little bit. We tighten down on these screws and we could offset how far in or out these panels lie. I don't really have a need for adjustment here. Everything is looking pretty symmetric, left to right. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten on this. All right, let's go ahead and connect the main connector. I'm gonna go under these wires just because It'll create the neatest routing for my wires. All right, that's good to go. That's pretty neat over here. I could tuck all this stuff away. Now I'm gonna power up the bike, test the running function, brake function. We're good here. I'm gonna power up one of the signals and see which one goes where. I believe. White is right, brown is left, brown to brown, green to green. Tuck this away, just neaten it up a little bit. All right, right, left, and then we can toggle for the different functions, brake alert, and sequential signal. Let's go ahead and replace this panel. Like I mentioned before, that slide lock has to go into its window first. Once that gets in, press down, gives you a little confirmation snap. Go back to using the Phillips. And that's it here. If you need to reprogram this thing, like I said, you can use a pencil with the eraser end going towards the tail light. You can actually spot the button from within the trunk space. So that's pretty easy for you to identify. At this point, I won't be doing any more programming. So I'm gonna close this thing up and be done with the job. All right, let's give it a test one more time. We have proper running function. Brake in brake alert mode, left signal, right signal, beautiful. As you can see, we've radically changed the entire look of the tail end of this bike with one simple component. This actual tail light does not produce any funky gaps in here. It locks in properly, it looks the biz. It really matches the design language of this bike. We are very proud of this product. I hope you like it too. We have this thing ready to go for you at tstindustries.com. So why don't you stop on by and check it out, read some more about it. We have a comprehensive description. We have several photos that will show you the little details that may enhance your liking of this component. That's pretty much it. As you can see, it took me only a couple minutes, all plug and play, no modifications, good to go. Thanks for watching. Drop me a comment, I like hearing from you. And hit like and subscribe if you're inclined to do so. Besides that, that's all I got. See you later, ride safe.